Welcome, I am so glad you are back. I'm Lori F. Dean, creator of Dishrag to Dynamo, a powerful yet practical path for women about to enter their 50s, women in their 50s, or women in their 60s who are desperate to move from a life of sedation to one of sizzle. This is a four-step transformational journey that will get you back to the bold, brilliant, and bountiful being you were put on this earth to be. We're outside again today. I didn't have any plans to be here. I actually had a really nice little studio set up going with lighting and a backdrop and the whole bit. But unfortunately, a couple of hours ago, the power went out and it's affected this whole area where I live. Doesn't look like it's going to come on anytime soon. So we moved everything outdoors. We got our little flip chart. It's a bit chilly because it's still winter here in British Columbia, Canada, where I am. But we've got some wonderful mountains in the background, too. We will have the occasional car going by and the duck or goose who'd like to say hello might uh, honk or quack at us and we might have the odd visitor wandering by in the background but it doesn't matter because the most important thing is that you are here right now and you are ready to begin the journey, right? Ready to go? Okay, let me explain what's going to happen. Over the next seven videos, that is seven videos, we are going to talk about where you are, where you want to be, and how to get from where you are to where you want to be. Okay, let me kind of go through an outline of what it looks like. And, and I can see this thing is going to be flipping away here, so hopefully we'll get through. But anyway, I call where we are now, where you are, where I was, being like a dish ray. Okay? So this, this was me. This is what I felt like when I was at my lowest. When I woke up and said, is this it? Is this my life? Is this all? I equated it to being like a used, dirty, holy, stinky dish rag where I'd spent my whole life wiping up, taking care of, cleaning up, and giving 110% of myself to everybody. Everybody except one crucial, important person. Me. So this felt to me like being in prison because a dish rag cannot move around on its own. A dish rag doesn't have choices. A dish rag waits for somebody to pick it up and use it. I was locked, shut down, locked up in a prison. So this is what that was like for me. Where I am now is right here, a dynamo. And to me, this is paradise doesn't mean I've arrived at the pearly gates type of paradise, but it means that my journey is so much more passionate and full of life right now. This keeps flipping on us, so bear with me here. Anyway, I think you're here. If you're not, I don't think you'd be watching the video, and I think you want to get here. Otherwise, again, you wouldn't be watching the videos. So let's see what we can do to make that happen, okay? So today we're going to be talking about your prison. Next video we'll get into the paradise, what that looks like versus where you are now. And then the four-step path to get you moving on that transformational journey. Connection. Connection to source. What is that? What does that mean? Clarify. In order to get what you want, <laughs> you need to know who you are. What you want to be. In order to know what you want to be, you want to know what you don't want to be, okay? Concede. What are you willing to do to get to be a dynamo? What are you willing to surrender? We'll talk about that. And finally, creation. What are you going to create in your life that will take you from dishrag to dynamo? The final video in the series, we're going to wrap it all up, we're going to do a summary and we're going to have your toolbox built. Because through each one of these videos, you're going to be given tools for that toolbox. Now, if you prefer to think of it as a hope chest, do so. I would encourage you, though, to replace the word hope with something a little bit more active, more dynamic. But, just saying, just saying, if that helps you to visualize, then please do use that. Okay, I'm putting my gloves on because it's getting chilly here. Anyway, this is what we're going to do, okay? So today we are going to start looking at the prison. Looking at 
the dish rag, looking at your dish rag. Like I say, this is mine. Yours might look a little bit different, but the idea is that we are at a point where we wake up and we go, is this all there is to my life? We just feel that there is something more, something we are not getting or giving to ourselves in life. It's a confusing time. It's a confusing time for us on so many levels. First of all, we, we kind of look at what's going on in the world and you know things are changing so fast. Yes, I remember when I was a kid and I used to hear my grandparents and the elders say, well, when I was your age, we didn't have this. And things were changing even then. But the technology and the changes that have happened in the IT world on a monthly basis are astronomical compared to the types of changes that were happening when we were growing up. We can't keep up. Now our grandkids are growing up with this stuff and they can pick it up like nothing, but for us, it's tricky. And we sometimes tend to shy away from the things that we don't understand, like the technology, like the computers, like the smartphones, like all of that. It can be overwhelming. Another thing that's confusing to us is our status in life. Remember Freedom 55? Many of us thought we would sit back at the age 55, travel, play with the grandkids. The reality is most of us will not be able to stop earning an income at that particular age. In fact, here in Canada, there's talk now of raising the retirement age, which is currently 65, to 67. More and more boomers are continuing to work until they're older. And not out of choice a lot of times, out of necessity. What about health issues? Your own health, your husband's health, your parents. Are you suddenly the caregiver of them now? Looking after their health needs, their bank account? And as I talked about briefly in the introduction video, what about the relationships? The relationships that are important in your life. The ones with your children, your grandchildren, with the man you're living with, and the most important relationship of all, the one with you. What is that like? My guess is it's not very good. My guess is there is so much missing. My guess there is there is a hole in your heart. And you have tried in various, various ways to fill that hole. Let's look at some of the things that it might, might have tried.